Welcome to another one of Club Doom's Quickie Quickies. Today we're going to talk about Count Graduan, the main antagonist for the first season of Sonichu, and possibly my all-time favorite character in this stupid little webcomic. Because not only is the premise hilarious, but somehow, some way, by the end, Chris manages to write a genuinely interesting backstory for this dude, so stay tuned for that. In the first run of Sonichu, Count Graduan was a primary mover for the evil forces that terrorized Quickville. His spirit resides in the scepter held by the dastardly Mary Lee Walsh, who we may talk about in another video. As the name suggests, Graduan derives from Chris's negative feelings about his high school graduation. You heard that right, Chris got so salty about not getting an award for his art class assignments prior to the handing out out of diplomas, that he slapped away the presenter's hand when offered the handshake, ran off to cry about it, and then would later cope by personifying the entire experience as an evil wizard who lives on the moon and goes out his way to troll a fat autistic guy in Virginia for no reason. Appearance. In the first 10 issues of Sonichu, we never really get to see Graduan's true form, due to the fact that he is merely a dark spirit residing in Walsh's scepter, Millennium Items style. We do get to see a veiny purple Gygus-esque design in Sonichu issue 9, but that'd be more of a silhouette than anything. It ain't until 2015 that we got to see Graduan's real form, an English guy with a chin strap and a SoundCloud rapper pentagram face tattoo, and a purple cape that does not match the rest of his fit. In the comic, according to the ancient prophecy, Count Graduan is an evil being of supreme evil. An evil being of supreme evil. Great, great writing. <laughs> According to the ancient prophecy, Count Graduan is a being of supreme evil that was sealed away by the leaders of the Cherokee and Wasabi clans. Despite being trapped for hundreds of years, he somehow was able to chill on the moon and take in Sylvana Rosichu as an apprentice. So I guess the seal worked in the same way as Low Tier God's ban from YouTube. Like yeah, he's gone, but that ain't finna stop him from getting relentlessly bullied on Trovo and Facebook gaming. The prophecy states that once Sonichu discovers the ancient hieroglyphics that predict said prophecy, Count Graduan will rise again to terrorize mankind by losing at Street Fighter, doxing people, and pissing in bottles because he don't like toilets for who the fuck knows why. Graduan makes his first appearance when Chris, Wesley, and Sarama have to stop an enormous golem controlled by Mary Lee Walsh from destroying Quickville. He kind of just in the background for the majority of the time while Mary Lee Walsh does all the actual evil shit. Then Sonichu issue 9 happens, and he just straight up ditches Walsh. Dissing her, calling her useless and shit. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. Like, what a dick. But don't worry, he gets his comeuppance in issue 10. Mary straight up just gives Chris the scepter for him to smash on the ground before their final bout. He comes back in full force in issue 13, but gets laid out and replaced by three other villains in a matter of a page and a half, forcing him in a position where he has to team up with Chris to save the day. So what is it about his backstory that I like so much? Well, in issue 16, it's revealed that he used to be of British nobility back in 1433 and fought in the Hundred Year War. After getting dropped by a Frenchie, he places a curse upon himself to forever reincarnate during times of war, trapping him in a never-ending cycle of blood and conflict so that he may prove himself as the ultimate soldier. It's like, goddamn, brother. <laughs> That's not like the concept for a Sabaton or Beast in Black song. The rust is for the weak, so I'll never know peace. I'm the eternal soldier. I don't know, some shit like that. I'm all for that. I don't know, I might be alone in that. But I hope I'm not alone in enjoying this video. So if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. What are your thoughts and what Sonichu character should I cover next? You know I'm always up to talk more Chris Chan lore with you guys, but until then, I will catch you guys in the next quickie quickie. Sweet nectar. Chaos Bermudas, Aggie, oh, what's going on? Scaly, schisms, making ends with all his drawings. Proper, Chester, yeah, you know what's going on. Boom, ya, chicka, pow, ya, chicka, boom, da, 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 da. Ice Club, do you better subscribe? I'll sit in a corner.